How about let's start from yeah, the take pinkies. a few. Yeah, take a few fingers. Uh, just take one. You better take my middle finger, because if you don't, I'll shove it up your fucking ass, you motherfucker. Talk to me like that, you son of a bitch. Oh. Hey, you know what you should do? What's up? You'll do a burn there and... No, 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 hold on. <laughs> you don't have a phone or anything, so if they kill you, it doesn't really matter. I have Just nothing on me. run back there, knock on the door, and run. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? <laughs> Are you ready? All right, we're gonna make a fun video here real quick. We're gonna uh, we're gonna head right back uh, to to this area over here where they've got a, a where I can knock on a door and get a meth run. And uh, there's some dudes guarding it there that will, you know, not be happy that I did that. So let's roll. Let's give this a shot. Howdy, fellas. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. What are you doing? I'm looking for... There's a place where you can pick up a truck around here. Have you seen it? Don't be lying. Oh, these are the same guys I just talked to right now. No, I don't think so. I don't think I know you very well, but, uh, yeah. Now well, it's just over the other... Why is homie driving away, then? Who's driving anyway? <laughs> yeah, he's fucking running. He's trying to respond. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What are you doing? Do <laughs> you want to die? Well, no. Oh, we got guns to your face. If I had a prerogative, run. no. Hell no, I don't want to die. That is a tech nine. Now, let's all, fellas, let's be friends here, okay? Let's be friends. All right, uh, you got to come with us. Oh, shit, where are we going? Are you going to get killed? Right there where you were knocking, I seen you knock. A knock? I'd... Well, I thought there was a truck driving job. Nah, this bro, you're fellas. dumb. Well, uh can't fall together. You run yeah. again, you're you're gonna die. Who was running? I have no idea what you're talking about. I was that was a midnight job. Tyler, are you back? It was just a midnight job. Need some cuffs. Cuffs. Yeah, your fucking friend left you. Are you sure that why, ain't him over there? Why did your friend? No, why did your friend run? Which friend? The guy in the brown car. He's dead now, but why did he run? He's dead. Yeah, he killed just got my killed. That is awful. Now look, fellas. I think we can. Uh, Come over here. I think we can work this out. Okay. Just we'll work it out if you could go over there. Please. Yeah, over here, bro. Look, I heard something about handcuffs. I think the sounds like things have just gotten yeah, out of control. Yeah, because you're a runner, bro. Because you're a runner. Oh, runner. Well, you from gentlemen pulled out guns right, and said well, we, you were gonna we shoot. We got one over here. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mind if I uh, smoke a cigarette? Man deserves a last cigarette, doesn't he? Yeah, go ahead. He don't have shit. Yes, that's correct. I really do not. Now I gotta tell you, fellas. Uh, are you with uh, some kind of a gang organization or something? Is this your, this your boy right here, yeah, bro? Yeah, this is his boy. Lasted about 25 seconds, so. Oh. That's not your boy, bro. He fucking left nah, you. Nah, he is in your guard. Um, yeah, but I'm saying that's your boy. He fucking So what are you here. guys doing over here? So, legitimately, if I tell you the truth, maybe we get some kind nah, of conclusion Nah, 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 look. When we were talking, I ran over here, and they're like, is this a trucker place? Here, slide over I was like, I was like, nah, bro. He's dead as fuck. Yeah, we've seen and they left. And... Oh, shit. What I'm thinking is, uh... I'm thinking, boys, we could come up with uh, some kind of uh, an agreement or something. You know, I got $500 cash on me right here. Oh shit, it might be in a bank. Yeah, but I could give it to you. Bank. Put it in your... Bro, you got $68 on you That's... and I have $500. Okay. And you're welcome to it, sir. You are welcome to it. But I got $500 in my bank account. Drive to a bank account real quick. ATM machine. We'll, we'll get it taken care of. I mean, if this guy wants to be compliant and not keep lying, I'm all for it. 
Yeah. Um, uh, I'll tell you what, right now, um, we come over here because we know sometimes you can do a little, you know, you could do a little little run in a van, you know, a smoke it out van. Yeah, we know, know. yeah we know how it works. I'm curious. All right. Look. Okay. We're going to move your friend that he all right. He's dead. I don't think he's coming back from do that you, one. Took about you, 32 bullets to the chest. So. Do you, do you think I could take him with me? No, I'm going to throw him into probably a trash can or something comfortable. That is awful. That is awful. Yeah, it is. So, I got a question. How did you find out about this shit? This place over here? Uh, yeah. I think, I well, think we fellas, need to take it to the spot and talk. More, well, more I think yeah. Let's maybe you could hear me out first. That. Maybe you should listen no, to who I am first. Because I've been uh, in this city a really long time. We're, we're going to move spots. Sorry, it's what's your, your name? Your decision. Paul Kersey, formerly of the Redwood family, but uh, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I've been in this city a long time, long time. Been an attorney in here, used to represent people I'm sure you don't even know anymore. Pope, Hamby, all kinds of shit. That's, yeah, I know them. Yeah, that's how I know these things. So, and I'm telling you, I got them out, out of lots of legal trouble, and I think maybe I could work with you guys, maybe do some pro bono work, get you out of jail when you need it. L let's go speak somewhere else. Ah, shit, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. We're actually gonna have a good conversation. This guy, is this guy like actually your friend or no? This guy right here? Would you consider him a friend? Uh, yeah, he's actually my little brother from fucking Sandy oh, Shores. He's kind of an idiot, you know? He didn't go to college yeah. like me. Hey, you guys take another car, I'm gonna actually, right. yeah, yeah, go right to the... So, what, like, what's got you over here doing whatnot? You just rank, remember a good way to make money or what? Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth, fellas. I don't, uh. I mean, I'm not a very good attorney. Any well, I'm a, I'm not a good guy attorney anymore. You know, I represent uh, yeah, drug so dealers, criminals, I'm all off kinds. radio for a few. Yeah. Stars, yeah. So, I, I represent a lot of uh, bad people bank robbers, drug dealers. I've represented Barry in the past. Lots of people, yep. and uh, you know, so I get my, I like to get my thrill of uh, fun here. You know what I'm talking about? Dude. I mean, we've already got lawyers and everything in place when it comes to legal trouble and not, I mean, you're gonna say they're looking for something like that. Hmm. Well, this is starting to look a little more and more like an execution every time. No, I just like to get answers out of people. We don't normally get, get out answers. of the car. These guys, don't go. Yeah, let's just go. Fuck. Shit. All right, fine then. It's a beautiful oh, drive out here, fellas. I love coming here. Dude, I love this spot. I love it. But a lot of people don't love it because, you know, bad things happen to good people. You don't make it outside at all. Of course bad things happen to good people here, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> the saying, there's a fact here. Only one guy made it out alive so far. So, all right. you might get okay. lucky. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna take over from here. Um. So why why are you guys trying to play stupid over there as well? That's something I'm curious about. Like we're not we're not stupid. We need pretty good at holding shit down, and it was a pretty blatant lie. So yeah. You try to like run in there and like be slick about it, and, like it's pretty noticeable. It's a blatant lie at first. Or well, at first it's not a. It's a. It's you know it's conspicuous. You know you think to yourself, well, fuck here these two uh, dumb hicks. You know they're on their way to go do a truck that ain't here. Fucking beat it, kind of thing. You know. Yeah. And then after that. We thought, uh, we, when we drove past, we didn't see your, your lights that time. So, uh, I didn't mm -hmm. actually see until I had knocked on the door already. See? It's, uh, like I said, moving those cars are a pretty smart idea to that other side. Um, yeah. It, it, uh, whew, <laughs> it didn't really work none. Actually, right before you showed up, I told them to move the cars on a different side just so that people couldn't see and, and it worked perfectly. So, um, I mean, it didn't really look like that plan went too well. You're, Homie's kind of laying there with about 30 bullets in his stomach, so. Oh, I suppose that's true. I suppose that's true. Yeah. So, I mean, like, shit, you're an attorney, you're legal. I mean, if we could get you in serious trouble, you're known as still being illegal, so. 
I suppose you I suppose you could try that. I'm not sure that I would do that if I were you. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a point of contention here. I, I hope the gentleman won't mind if I ask if you remove the cuffs. Oh. I could put a bandage on. I'm not feeling very all good right, at all. Take the cuffs off. And uh, yo, so I, I think I know something. If you do anything stupid, where I, I promise I won't. Now, do you folk have a bandage on you, per chance? I could borrow. Here. This is your last one. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, can you guys head to the door like right now? All right. Yeah, there's some guys being robbed there. All right, just survive as long as you can. I got four guys showing up there for you. So what uh, do they wear? Yeah. All right. So what? Uh, okay. So I gotta you tell you, up. I know a few people. You know, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna drop their names here today, but I I think it might be best if we all just walked away from this situation and. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, we're said our P's and Q's and things like that, if you know what I mean. I, I, I I'm apologize. just going to take that as a threat. Um, so no, who are you no, talking sir, about? please, I'm apologizing. I do apologize. We should not have encroached on the territory. We shouldn't mm. have been anywhere near that place. And, uh, you know, in general, I won't go back again. This much, you deserve that much respect. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know. Why, why should I be scared of these people? No, oh, I didn't say you should be scared of him. I just said it wouldn't it wouldn't be the smartest thing maybe to kill me. I, I, I've got a lot of people that owed me a lot of favors all over. And now, I'm sure they wouldn't, uh, you know, they couldn't do nothing if I was dead. But what they could do is find out that their favorite legal counsel can't get them out of jail anymore. This would be awful. Just checking. So what's your name again? Paul Kersey. Paul Kersey. Paul Kersey. That's right. I'm a, from the Redwood family, though. Call me Paul Redwood. Redwood. I dropped that name when I went into law school, but you know, I assumed it again after I started. Back in with Paul, how you been in the city? He's a little bit OG, so hmm. I'm gonna call some people that have been here for a hot minute as well. See what they say. Wonderful. You know a guy named Benny Rotten? Pardon me? Benny Rotten? No. That doesn't ring any bells for you if nah. you're OG in the city. No, he might know my Uncle Ansel, though. You could ask him about that. Ansel Redwood, he might know him. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious who you owe favors to, honestly, because we're pretty good friends with a lot of people, and I mean... I'm not gonna, I don't want to drop their names. But it wouldn't help their situation. Or mine. I might cut your fingers off if you don't <clears throat> start saying things. How about let's start from yeah, the take a few, Yeah, take a few fingers though. Just take one. You better take my middle finger, because if you don't, I'll shove it up your fucking ass, you motherfucker. Talk to me like that, you son of a oh. bitch. Oh, stab your fucking friend. Talk to me like that, I fucking told you. Didn't I fucking tell you? Ugh. Oh. Sit there and shut the fuck up. Cuff him. Son of a bitch. On your knees like your fucking mother, big guy. Now you're not talking, huh? Oh, you got a good shot there with an. Oh, fucker! The fuck up. <clears throat> Start talking, pussy. Well, it's I'm not talking. I get kicked. I fucking talk. Then I tell, get told to talk. Which fucking? Oh, you Start fucking. Start fucking talking. Why don't you take that fucking gun and shove it up your ass before I do? I'm gonna fuck. Oh, God. Don't kill him, I want him alive. <sighs> Pretty open, they're just blasting right now. I think that, uh. I think it might be a mistake to do so, but. It's your right. Yeah. All right. This is what we can okay, do. Okay, we want answers then. Who we should expect if we shoot you? Who do you owe favors to? All that kind of bullshit. I don't owe the favors. I get people out of jail, retard. They owe me the favors. Mm. Hold up. Oh, I can't. I. I... <laughs> so you are a lawyer. So you're legal. He said attorney. Go give a. Uh, you know who to call. Just go outside yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah, go outside. Oh yeah.
pretty well dressed to be cooking meth out of the back of a van. Well, unlike, unlike yourself, uh, some of us can afford the threads if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, shit. I mean, quite as dressed as you right now, so I'd say otherwise. Oh. I can't believe I haven't bled out. Oh, heaven help me. You like this ring? Let's have a good look at it here. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. That uh, they pick up. Tyler. You're not fucking talking. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh... Yeah, he's out of the city right now, but he's got a. I mean, he being soon. Wait, sorry, what? Nothing. They're not in city at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> who would know who this man is? Hold up. Uh, you... Thomas, come here real quick. Okay. Ah, uh, you said that, big guy. Oh, not a lot of other options here. I mean, it's more what's about to happen after. It's going to be worth our time. So, actually, just waste all of your time and everything you've ever worked for. So. Oh. Hmm. You got a friend who's a judge? Got a lot of friends. That's good. When they get here, I'm going to tell them how I kicked your fucking ass and your friend stabbed you. <laughs> <laughs> and who's on their knees right now with a stab wound in their chest? Probably several as well. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to fucking tell. I'm feeling great right now. Not like uh -huh. the idiot who stabbed his fucking boss. Mm -hmm. Just it's kick him upside the head real quick. Oh. Barely filled it. <sighs> brain rattling around in there. <sighs> What's this guy's name again? Fucking like something Kiersey. Some Paul, stupid ass name. Paul Kiersey. What's your name? What's your name again? My same your amount name. of brain damage as you, goddamn. Paul Kersey. Okay. Oh, all right, oh, ask, her. ask your mom about me. She's hot for it. Really? God damn it! Make sure we don't Yo. kill. So you're gonna bring in the big fella here, the one whose dick you suck? Yeah. I am that big fella, big guy. Oh shit. That's a problem. Chance, uh, the dopest fucking OG guy, are you? Dopest fucking OG? <laughs> no, is it? Oh, then I'm not worried about you. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be worried about me either, so. Sorry, who's the dopest fucking OG? see your ring clear it looked like it had a V on it you got a V on your ring no it's got a big old 1% on it Hell's Angels then that's fine then hold up alright alright 
fellas. Hey, good fight. I, I, oh, I will, hold on. No, you need to give him your shit first, big guy. Uh, do you, I want to have a real nice uh, cover on my video of my funeral. Do you guys think you could right. just stand over me for a second, maybe point a gun at my head? It would look really nice. Yeah, right, for sure. I give him. Oh, I super right. appreciate that. You like that knife? All right. fantastic. We get the kill? Yep. All right, back up. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That must have felt nice. Hold up. I got him, I got him. We're at the bike shop. Are y'all being chased? Off right in front over there. You see where they pull in back behind? Drop them there. Two thousand years later. Sweet teen, are you any EMS uh, native for now? I'm going to have a down individual at MRPD right now, uh, next to the parking lot. 10 4. Tweeteen, 10 4. Be advised, I'm not getting a pulse out of this individual. Uh, I clocked in, but I just got food in my head, so I just was eating, so I didn't know what was going on. But then came back, and this guy was just down. Gene and gonna have a light pulse. True Gene, I have, an, I have an individual at MRPD wearing a suit, not a mask. I'm going to bring this down individual to you guys right around the corner. EMTs. Yeah, yeah, oh, I got him. He just has a light pulse. I just, gotcha. I don't know. I was just at MRPD eating and then he just kind of showed up. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take care of this. Oh, sir, are you alright? Oh, God. Oh, that was awful. Oh. Go ahead and stay still for me, real quick. I'm gonna check right. you over. I won't move. Oh, that was awful. How the hell did I get here? I don't know. I just found you to MRPD and. Oh, fuck me. And then brought you over here. Megs are right here already, so I just brought you over. All I remember was. Uh, yeah, you weren't, you weren't doing too good. Yeah, oh no, I definitely got jumped by a gang of fucking rascals. Uh, I was, I'm a lawyer, so I had a trucker call me, and he said, hey, you know, I might need a little help getting uh, something wiped off my record. I said, all right, shit, let me see what I can do for you. I was going to meet him at the uh, trucker spot, and some dudes with masks uh, came over, and they fucking jumped us both. They, they beat the shit out of me, and then I, I just went unconscious, I don't remember. Hmm. No, I mean, none 
Or anything in particular they were wearing? Masks. Just random yeah. ordinary clothing. They got the boogaloo mask going on there. They had a. I think that's about it. Yep, I couldn't tell you much more about them than that. Bunch of fucking idiots, anyways. Okay, hey, officer, girl. he's cleared, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's in good shape. Okay. I put a cast on his arm, just uh, you know, on his leg. I mean, just leave it on for a week or two. You know, the one thing I do remember about him, I gotta be honest with you, each and every one of them seemed to have a, an IQ of about 80. Okay, so we can put that in the fucking record there. You know what I'm talking about? They were retarded, uh, literally. Yeah, that he's done about 90% of the city. No. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon yeah, that is so, uh, Yeah, um... I guess, do you want to go somewhere else that's not here? You want to go back to MRPD so that way we're not uh, around, you know, all these people? Oh, uh, let's see here. I got, let's see if I can call I can, I can get a, 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 just an actual witness statement from you then. Oh, you want to do a witness statement? I'll give you one. I would love to do one. Well, you might need to reset your voice box real quick. Oh, am I having a problem with it? Maybe. No, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. It was just a little scuffy for a second. If you want to walk with me, it's just right around the corner. Alright, I'll, I'll go there. So what's your name, boss? Paul Kersey. Oh, Mr. Kersey. That's a very original last name. Oh, you think so? I'm Joan. Joan? I do think so. Mm-hmm. Like cool. John with an own? Yeah, my parents. My older brother, his name is uh, John. They're very unoriginal. They named me Joan. Oh, no shit. So, um, We're yeah, you know. Maybe I should get a name change. I don't know. I changed my <laughs> name to Paul Kersey. I used to be Paul Redwood from... But when you leave Blaine County, you don't want to. You want to leave the past behind you, you know. <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. I got a whole family up there. A pack of wild rednecks. Don't know what the fuck they're doing. Well, good for you coming down here. I guess making a name for yourself. Oh yeah. Oh, that kind of name too. <laughs> Shit. So, you know, uh, since this is a witness statement and you could possibly say something that could incriminate yourself, I'm going to read you your right. Oh. So, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of the time. Do you understand these rights as I had read them to you? Oh, yeah. Do you still speak? Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it's just, I just procedures. Sure. Yeah, uh, I know. I know you're okay. This is gonna be an awful If you want to sit down, you can use your shifty muscle. Oh, really? Yeah, they work. Uh -huh. Just go up to the chair. Yeah, I didn't. All right, that's cool. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Let's see. All right, Paul. Here. So. Go ahead and run me down, start to finish everything that happened with as much detail as possible. Sure, sure. Uh, I wish I could tell you what time specifically it happened, but the rapscallion stole my phone, uh, so I don't remember. But I got a phone call from a man who said he was a trucker, said he wanted to get uh, an arrest expunged off of his record. Yeah. He didn't want that uh, following him around. And I know it costs a lot of money, but I figured, fuck it, maybe he's got some money. So uh, I went down to the truck depot to meet the individual. I didn't see anybody when I got there. Uh, I don't recall if I saw anybody, but I definitely know there was a, uh, there was a, let me see, what was it? It was like a Chevrolet Camaro looking sort of thing. What pulled up on me. Two dudes got out. They were mouthy. So I got a little lippy with them, too. And uh, they had boogaloo masks on. And uh, next thing I know, they handcuffed me and beat the shit out of me. Now, they said they were going to be cool, but they, this is my favorite part, right? So I actually, I, I told them, hey, I'm injured right now. Can I... Can I put a bandage on? So they took the handcuffs off me. When he did, I slugged this motherfucker right in his face. He pulled out a knife. Oh, and he actually on. stabbed his friend. No, I'm fucking serious. Well, you don't believe me? Hand to God. 
Hand to God. No, I believe you, Hand but, to God. you know, I don't, I don't know. Yep, absolute, absolutely. I guess you do you, but I wouldn't have done that, but yeah, each for their own. Oh, you wouldn't? So they stabbed you, and that was, that's I think they were, all you remember? I think point? they were threatening to cut my fingers off. Oh, Ooh, well, what am I doing up here? Oh, these cigarettes uh, make me a, a little it's loopy. It's a time thing. Just to... yeah, that's all right. Let's see. You got no filter on them? Yeah. <laughs> it's a redwood, too, I'll tell you what. Oh, shit. So, um, yeah. And these guys, they're, they're just dumb as hell. I doubt you'll ever find them, but they're just literally stupid. You know? Uh, I mean, if they're that stupid, then I'm sure we have some past experience with them. Um, Probably, yeah. They sound like shitheads. So you said you've rolled up and you don't remember seeing anyone else there? No, it was a Camaro. Uh, let's see here okay. now. But and then what if they, they were the ones who called me and they were there? trying to roll me for, for my cash and everything? I think I That's had about... Kind of uh, yeah, I was holding about $20,000 in cash during that. Yep, yep. I was on... Well, because I was figuring I was going to go buy a new car at some point. Yeah. Uh-huh. So these two people in a challenger came up on you or were they already positioned somewhere and then you came up to them? I see I don't remember and it was awful dark too that's the other half of it there uh, you know let's see here I'm trying to think mm -hmm. I pulled up I was in my truck I got a I got a beautiful truck um, I parked I got out. You know, it's sort of a strange neighborhood there. It's not too nice, but there's usually nobody around. So I was walking around, and uh, I don't think it was out there but two seconds before these guys rolled up. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Did you... You said that they just handcuffed you? Did they point a weapon at you or anything of the sorts? Well, when they got out, they had... Uh, they didn't have anything at first. Then, and I started to kind of walk away because they looked a little antagonizing. And then they pulled out guns. Of course, I fear for my life. So I had to I had to stop and listen to their commands, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But there's only so much shit a man could take, you know. Once they had me uncuffed at that point. Now I'm telling you, this guy's so stupid, you know. So I, I, he says he's going to cut my fucking fingers off. What do I do? Of course, I give him one right to the face. Hit this cocksucker right square in his fucking jaw. He actually turned around to try to stab me. Stabbed his fucking friend. Greatest thing ever. <laughs> Greatest thing ever. Damn. Oh. Well, it's probably too late now. But if this were to have been a recent occurrence, and we might have been able to catch him, the hospital or something of the sorts. Obviously, a stab wound. You know, uh, it's kind of. <laughs> Kind of a little more major, kind of need to go to the hospital or something like that. But uh, totally it's probably, agree. Probably a little too late now. I totally agree. You know what? Let me see if I even have any of my money. I want. Let me see. Let me check my pockets real quick because I want to see if I have my money. I twenty thousand dollars. I I don't know. How, I had it like I had five hundred in this pocket. Uh, twenty five hundred over there. Hold on. Okay. What the fuck is this? You get them all separated. These. I I. There's a fucking knife in my pocket that don't belong to me. A knife in your pocket? There's a fucking knife in my pocket. I don't even have a weapons license. So, here, can I give you this or what? What the fuck do we do here now? Um, just, 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 Oh, uh, I'm kind of doing okay here. I'm hoping my, uh, I'm hoping my brother will pick me up and he hears about what's happened to me here. If he ever That's fine. Me I'm sure since you were down, you're probably a little, a little hungry. I'll give you something. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry, I don't have any more water on me, but oh, I'll probably suffice for the time there. I appreciate it. Why do you suppose them fellas put a knife on me? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking... Well, lately, there's been some people going around and putting evidence on um, people. Sometimes Danny's, sometimes ordinary people like you. Oh, shit. People, people who want to do, do any wrong. Um, in hopes that they probably get in trouble or something. Whether it just be for fun or just, you know, so that way they can say that they got someone in trouble or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. 
Yep, I'm telling you, these these two are IQ because I, I think they threatened me at one point that they were going to get me in. And I was going to die and they were going to get me in trouble all at the same time. I remember I'm saying something like that. You know, sad yeah. state of affairs this city's come to. It's a good thing we got good fellers like you on the sideline out there helping out. <laughs> I try my best, but, um... So these two people, you ever heard them before? You ever seen them before? They ever talked to you before? Anything like that? No, nope, can't say as they have. Nope. Okay. And you said, like I just asked you, you've never seen these people before? You know, I will tell you, you I have, with them. I have uh, in the past interacted with nefarious individuals because of my status as an attorney. I've defended some of these mm -hmm, people, of course. try to get them out of jail and whatnot. Uh, some of them are garbage. Some of them are actually nice people. Uh, but uh, I've never run across these fellas ever before. No. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll come back to this in a second, but have when they pulled the weapons on you, did you notice any maybe shotguns, ARs, fully auto pistols, anything like that? So there was at one point after I was handcuffed, remember they handcuffed me, then I told them I needed a bandage, and then we got into a scuffle shortly thereafter, then I was re-handcuffed after that, but uh, there was a, they had a knife, it might have been that one, I don't really know. There was a shotgun involved at one point in time, pump action. Real nice looking, steel on the outside, real good looking. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe a Tech-9, something like that. Okay, so obviously if they're, you know, in possession of these class three weapons, they're not just some nobodies like that's been going around. Mm. I suppose you're right. So, I'm not saying that you have done anything, but let's just say in a hypothetical scenario, you previously interacted with these people, whether it be legal or illegal, you don't have to tell me. And you wronged them, or you said something, or you did something. Mm. If you want to let me know, I'll let me work with you. You know what I mean? Because if you did do something, I uh, guarantee you I can help you with this. That's a hell of a theory, but I'm going to have to tell you I don't. Um, I'm trying to think yeah. here. It, it is a high possibility that somebody would call me over there under the guise of work and then try to do me in i've worked for a lot of nefarious people maybe they were upset mm -hmm. at those people but i don't even think those people are in the city anymore people like pope and barry and famby things like that i mean those are some people i have never heard of <laughs> yeah I mean, it's been a long time since uh, i ain't practiced in a while you know mm -hmm. well Obviously, since I guess you've never really associated with these people before, um, I guess there would be no reason they would go out of their way to try to get you arrested or anything like that. Mm. I don't suppose. I mean, I wouldn't think of it. Did they ever give any nicknames when referring to each other or an actual name, anything of the sorts? Anything uh, at all? No, no. I gotta be honest with you. I wouldn't do that. And, uh, I mean, they did wore masks the, the whole time. Uh -huh. Did the vehicle that approached you, did it have a specific color of headlights or um, a pearlescent, which is like a uh, color on a color that it kind of shines in the light differently? Did they have a specific color? No, I couldn't tell. It looked even flat black, maybe, but, uh, flat black, nothing, nothing particular on it. That's right. I'm not sure how well your investigation would go anyway. I tell you what, uh, if I did manage to find these people again, uh, there's other people who take care of them for me. I'm not sure I need the help of the police, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, it doesn't hurt having a government funded agency on your side, you know? Okay, all right, now that's fair. If, um, holy. Nah, they're fine. It's only in the alleyway down the street. Um,. Would you mind if I pass you my phone? Do you just want to keep your invisible, um, what you might call it, your SIM card on you? Mm. Do you mind giving me the phone number of the individual you called? I didn't call anybody. Oh, they called you. It still show up in your phone records though. So you think I could think I could get that off of you? No, I don't. I don't think I will comply with that. All right, that's fine.
Well, good day, officer. I hope you have right, a wonderful Paul, I say yes. You got. I was about to say you're good to go. Do you need anything else, Mr. Paul? Are you good? Oh, I think I'll be all right. Appreciate the pizza and the water.